Dr. Ben Bickman, who I think everyone in this room is probably very well aware of. I'm a huge fan of his. When we talk about insulin, when we're talking about fasting, we're going to talk about insulin. And so his quote is, a humble hormone from the pancreas. So Dr. Ben, Dr. ben Bickman is an insulin researcher, very, very well-regarded expert in the metabolic health space. And so what I want you to remember, if you're not already fasting or if you've been thinking about it or if you've been a seasoned faster, to really understand that meal frequency can impact fat storage. If your insulin levels are up, then you're not able to, burn, to tap into fat stores. If your insulin levels are down, then your body is able to intrinsically go in and use up fats. And as Ben Azadi always says, I would much rather use the fats in my body than be eating extra fats outside my body. In a 2018 study that was done pre-pandemic, obviously, UNC Chapel Hill School of Public Health, they talked about at that time, 88.2% of Americans were metabolically inflexible and unhealthy. And this is particularly relevant because you just heard me talking about the pandemic and how those statistics have actually gotten worse, that we're just getting more and more metabolically inflexible. Another study with patients who fasted, they saw a 3 to 6% reduction in their blood sugar, and they saw a 20% decline in insulin events. This suggested that fasting is as effective as traditional caloric restriction at accelerating weight loss protect heart health, and prevent type 2 diabetes. So there's so much more to fasting than just these benefits. 